Just for fun, turn that off for a sec. Please. Check this out. Car is running, right? Can you hear it? Yeah. Barely? Watch. No. Electric. That's what you're saying. It's like driving a golf cart. Dude, this is a trip. We went back for a little midnight action from Royalty. We got the new Acura NSX. This is crazy. This is Acura's new supercar hybrid technology. And then we've got old school. Just a naturally aspirated V10 producing 600 horsepower. Now what's really cool about these cars is they have very similar features and then very different features, such as the engine. So this is a twin turbo V6 with the electric motors assisting it. This is just a V10, but they're both all wheel drive. I'm sure the all wheel drive systems vary. I don't know all the technical specifications for that. You've driven both cars. Give me your opinion, because you have a very strong one. <laughs> I'm a large advocate for the R8, just because I like the NA motor. It's a little more engaging to drive. It doesn't feel like you're driving a little golf cart <laughs> with the hybrid technology. I like the V10, the sound. This car is equipped with a race exhaust, so it's got that extra snap, crackle, pop that goes with it. The NSX has a lot of great technology. It's definitely a couple steps ahead over the R8, it just doesn't have that engagement that the R8 has, in my opinion. So would you say this is like a glimpse into the future of supercars because the technology that's in this is virtually very, very similar to what was in the 918. The 918 was a million dollar car and now they've come out with very similar technology in a car that we just looked up, the MSRP apparently online is $156,000 USD for this car. So, million dollar car, 156, so that's a big gap to be able to put that type of tech into here, right? Absolutely, there's, there's a lot of R&D that went into the car, and like I said, it's technology-wise, it's there. It's just when it gets to the performance, at the price point, it doesn't compete with a lot of other things in its segment. Yeah, it is snappy, it's fast. We, for me, it's lacking the, the emotion it would draw out of you with the sound and it feeling I mean, it's so refined. Yeah. It, in a lot of ways, it's a lot. It's a lot like a McLaren. Like the smoothness. It's quiet inside. You know what I mean? Yeah. No, I can see that. Dave, first thoughts, just riding in it. Yeah, I was actually surprised. So I read a lot online about this car. People were saying like the same thing as Nick's was saying. Um, but honestly, I really enjoyed the first experience. The blow off valve noises are there. Yeah, you um, can hear that. You can totally hear it fluttering in the background. The technology in that thing is pretty nuts as well. Like, that's a car you could drive on long road trips. So let's stand back and look at the cars and do like a, a looks comparison. Um, we'll go with you first. Dave, thoughts? If you, if you were just picking the car based off of looks, would you go R8 or the more edgy NSX design? Honestly, NSX. And I like the R8 better overall, but from a design perspective, it's pretty dramatic when you see it coming down the road or just sitting right in front of you. It's got a lot going on, and when you pay that kind of money for a car, you know, you want to make a statement, that would do it. It's a, it's a, a big statement for the money. Big statement for the money. Nick, look at it. Do you like the looks or what? I actually like the looks of the NSX a lot better than the R8. The R8 stood the test of time, but the NSX definitely just has a more aggressive look with the hood vents, the side scoops. I give it to the NSX on the design. Yeah. And I'm the same. Uh, I'm gonna go with the NSX for the design. It's something that, honestly, you see it, it's like a lot of cars. You see them in a photo, you see them online, and you're like, oh, that's pretty cool. But it's not until you're actually standing right here that you can really take in all the angles that they put into this car, the functionality, like the hood scoops, um, the big vents in the back. I mean, this is very Lamborghini-esque, the fact that they have the big rad vents in the side like that. So I think just for a quick comparison, it's totally not gonna be fair because this is a naturally aspirated V10 
It even has a race exhaust on it. This is a twin turbo V6. It's stock. However, I just want to show you how dramatic uh, the difference is in sound just from a startup perspective. So Dave, please start the NSX first because once the R8 starts, we're not going to hear the NSX. <laughs> you ready? I'm ready, sir. You want to put that dynamic Sport Plus mode on? Okay, Nick, you're up, brother. I'm gonna take a few steps back. This thing's loud. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and that's what we mean about the difference in sound. Let's see if he got it into the Dynamic Sport Plus. Did, did I win? You did not. You did not win. <laughs> did I win? <laughs> you, you, you did not win. Did you put it in Sport Plus? Yeah. Yeah, I couldn't even really tell. Yeah. Okay. Next up, gents, shall we take these for a stroll down the old Las Vegas Strip? Let's do it. Vegas Strip at night. I love it at night. I'm distracted by flashing lights. They just, they just entertain me. What? What? <laughs> what? What? Look what? at that. Ooh, ooh, flashing lures. I want this car. What? I want this. <laughs> <laughs> He's gone. He's not driving like a dad anymore. He's not driving like a dad. That's all it took was an R8. <laughs> What makes you like it so much? I don't know. Two minutes into a drive. I, I liked it the second I started it. It sounds cool. Yeah. What does the car sound like this today? It sounds like my Huracan, right? Yeah. Oh. Let me get a close up of you driving it for the first time. Seriously, I'm not faking this. I, I like it. I know what you're not faking. Your wife told me all about it. <laughs> right up top there is a marquee a day pool club and uh, it happens to be where that big fire was when one of the big palm trees caught on fire last summer patients tonight about the fire at the cosmopolitan smoke and flames filled the deck of the bamboo pool just after noon on saturday scary stuff luckily nobody was injured here we go we got paris oh we're rolling back up on dave and the r8 hey dave do a burnout just past, uh, what was it back there? Flamingo. No. Yep. Yeah, the Flamingo. You want some high-end goodies? You can come to the Caesars Forum Shops. Oh yeah, Gordon Ramsay, the swearing British cook. Here's Dave again. Hit it! Oh. You hear that girl scream? Need to do more of that, Dave. You guys are checking the cars out. Everyone's looking at the R8, probably because they can hear it. Hey, we're over here in the NSX! <laughs> are you not having a good time in my tour bus? My NSX tour bus? One passenger only, $5,000 a ride. My, my time's worth money, bro. My time's worth money. But what do you what do you want? Hey guys, cars are a hybrid? Is that a Prius? This is not a Prius. Oh, it's like so surreal. Not slow. Woo! Oh, oh, you hear the turbo? Dude, it sounds like an old school Supra ball valve. Does it? Do you hear it? Hear that <laughs> Huge shout out to Royalty. Uh, amazing cars. I'm telling you guys, if you want to do this experience, this is where to come. Thanks for watching. Smash the subscribe button. Throw us a thumbs up. 
Also, what do they gotta do with the notification bell? Smash it. Click it. Yes. See notifications. Put that notifications on. See you soon. Bye cars. Bye.